thank you so much for checking out my channel today. Um, today's video is not like any other video that I have ever done. Um, Pantone recently announced their color of the year for 2014, which is Radiant Orchid. And they have a beautiful, colorful description of Radiant Orchid on their website. Um, and the tail end of it, it says, Radiant Orchid is a captivating harmony of fuchsia, purple, and pink undertones that emanates great joy, love, and health. So I have searched through my makeup collection, and I have also gone to the drugstore. I went to Ulta to pick out um, just the standout products that I think really capture Radiant Orchid. Um, the true color. It's just the perfect balance of pink and purple. Now, I'm showing you some of my favorites, but don't feel like you have to go out and get these to be on trend. You can use anything that you already have in your current collection, anything from true purple um, to, you know, purpley pink, maybe even more pink with a little bit of purple undertones. Um, but anything that's right in that family is um, what Radiant Orchid is all about, and it is perfect because it is officially spring and I am so excited and I've been really excited to start wearing this Radiant Orchid color. So with that being said, let's jump right in. First up for nail polish, this is a new um, polish in my collection. I searched through Ulta and all of their different nail polish brands that they have there and this is the one nail polish that stood out to me as the perfect Radiant Orchid shade and that is Essie's Play Date. And I have it on my nails right now. And there were so many pretty purple colors, lavender colors, pinky purples. But this one was the only one that I could find that really, really um, captured Radiant Orchid, in my opinion. It's just so perfect. I'm completely obsessed with this nail polish. It's a little bit thin, but um, this is two coats. If you build up two coats, then it's perfect. By the way, I've been a little under the weather lately, so if my voice starts going out, if I sound a little more manly than usual, that's why. Another polish that I had already in my collection is Wet n Wild's Megalass Formula in the color On a Trip. And I love this polish. I've been wearing it. I think I was actually wearing it in my last video maybe. But um, as you can see when compared to Essie's Playdate, this is definitely more of a true lavender. And Essie's Playdate is just that perfect balance of pink and purple. I just... I love both of these. All right, as far as eyeliner, I had a couple of purple liners in my collection, but um, I did find one eyeliner that stood out to me in the drugstore section at Ulta, and that is Rimmel's Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer, and it is in the color Purple Shock. And once again, I feel like I'm gonna be saying this about all the products, but it really is just that perfect mix of pink and purple and there it is swatched on my hand now one thing i will say i have it on my waterline and when you wear it in your waterline it definitely lends itself to be more pink than purple and you usually don't want to wear a whole lot of pink underneath your eyes because it can tend to make you look a little tired or sick so what i did to help balance it out is i smudged it in with a purple shadow that had more blue undertones to kind of balance it out this is a pretty good formula it is supposed to be waterproof i haven't tested it enough to really um attest to that but it even has a little smudger on the other end so it's a pretty good liner now as far as eyeshadow um everything pretty much that i'm wearing came from the urban decay vice 2 palette or my sephora makeup academy palette but this shadow really stood out to me for all the same reasons when i was at ulta and it is the l'oreal infallible eyeshadow one of their um it's basically like a pressed loose pigment if that makes any sense i'm sure you guys have seen these before i have i think two or three already in my collection and i love the formula of these but um this color just stood out to me it's called burst into bloom and once again it's just a beautiful purpley pink eyeshadow and what's really fun about this one is it does have some shimmer in it it's very much metallic so you could wear it dry, you could wear it wet, and it would just be um, beautiful either way. But that there it is right there swatched on my hand. You can see it definitely has some shimmer. I did put a teeny tiny bit underneath um, my lower lash line, but I also put a few other shadows on top so you can't really see it in its true form. 
but I do love these and this would even be really pretty all over the lid. If you do have any eyeshadow palettes, um, make sure to check those because you probably have some purple shades in there that would go perfect for this um, trend for this color of the year. Um, I have a really old Coastal Scents palette that has several really pretty sh uh, purple shades in the same Radiant Orchid family. Like I said, my Sephora Makeup Academy palette. And then also my Vice 2 palette by Urban, Urban Decay has these two really pretty um, shades that I used a little bit uh, today. Now for blush, there aren't a lot of purple based blushes at the drugstore. So I looked through my collection and the one that I thought was the most wearable but still kind of captured what Radiant Orchid is all about is Breath of Plum by MAC. And I've talked about this blush before, it's one of my favorites. But it does have that plum undertone but it's still pink enough to where it's wearable. And um, I just think it complements, I'm wearing it today if you can even tell and I just think it complements the other products that I used. So I would definitely go for something like this when it comes to the blush. Now the rest of the products that I have to show are all lip products. I've got this Revlon Color Burst, what do they call the lip butters, and Gumdrop when they first came out. It's definitely very lilac and uh, it's right there, it's very sheer. It's not the most wearable, I will say that. It's just, um, I think it would be best topped over maybe a more pink lipstick, but um, that is a cheap option at the drugstore. Um, something very similar to the Revlon Lip Butter would be a Color Whisper by Maybelline, and this is in shade Ola Lilac. <laughs> and, um, it is very, very similar. I think this one is a little bit more true to Radiant Orchid because it is definitely more of a mixture of pink and purple. That's the lip butter and that's the color whisper right there. Um, you do have to build it up quite a bit as it's very sheer, as you can tell. I would prefer to top it over another more pigmented lipstick or lip product. Another lipstick that I've had in my collection for some time is um, the shade Divine by CoverGirl. And this one is very, very... Oh my gosh. I just broke. Okay, I totally just broke it, but I did swatch it right there. This is, again, it's a little bit more wearable. It definitely has some purple undertones, but it's still pink enough that if you're not used to wearing bold colors, I think you would be comfortable wearing this. It's definitely bright and bold, but it definitely lends itself to being more pink when you have it on the lips. What I am wearing right now is this new Milani Lip Intense Liquid Color. I have been wanting to try these new lip products by Milani, and um, this was actually the only shade that they had left when, I think I got this one at Walgreens, and this, was, this one is in shade Violet Addict. It does come in a tube and you apply it with a wand, but it is very much a liquid lipstick. It's not really glossy. Um, it definitely feels like a lipstick, but just in liquid form. And I am just completely obsessed with this color. There it is swatched right there. So you can see it's definitely more pink than the CoverGirl lipstick in Divine, which is right here. Um, it's just very, very pigmented. I just love the way it applies. The wand is not exactly my favorite, but I can live with it. Um, but just the product itself is amazing. So I definitely want to try the other shades in this line. So I have that on and I thought it was a little bit more pink than what I wanted. So what I did was I topped it with this Maybelline Color Elixir. And this is in shade Vi no Vision and Violet. And this is very, very purple. So the Milani one's a little bit too pink. This one's a little bit too purple but I just mix them together and I think they're just the perfect combo for this Radiant Orchid look. So that is the Maybelline Color Elixir right there. It's very, very pigmented. So I just mix the two together and this is what I got and I'm quite pleased with the outcome, I must say. Now this may go without saying, but I probably wouldn't combine all of these products at once. <laughs> um, if you do want a pop of color, 
um, start with just the lips, maybe a really, really neutral eye and just the lips. Or if you want to play up the eyes, go for, you know, some purples on the lid or on the lower lash line or even just in your eyeliner and then go for maybe a nude mouth or, you know, a more neutral lipstick than what you would normally wear. If you want to, like me, and kind of throw in a little bit you know all at the same time just make sure it's not too overwhelming you see I don't have purple all over the lid and you know five shades of purple obviously with radiant orchid being color of the year it is everywhere right now it's perfect for springtime and summertime so I'm definitely going to be incorporating a lot of these products in some tutorials coming up so definitely be on the lookout for those make sure you check out my blog for a list of these products along with their prices I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all very soon. Bye!